Snowflakes, welcome to this amazing video. I am so excited right now, I can't even breathe. So today's video is a fall treats video, but it's a collaboration with these two awesome YouTubers. I am telling you, they are so amazing. They are becoming such great friends. They both have channels that are we all have channels that are very similar and they are awesome people and you guys need to go subscribe to them right meow so they are also going to be doing fall treat videos so i will show you their thumbnails right here so after you watch this video go check theirs out so this video, like I said, is going to be a fall treat. Now, there's kind of a little bit of a funny story. I don't want to make this intro too long, but I had a few plans made for treat ideas off Pinterest. And we all know how Pinterest can be. They show something that's really amazing, and then you go try to attempt to make it, and it doesn't turn out right. So that happened to me three times while trying to film this video. I will have my Thanksgiving Pinterest hacks video linked down below. So go check that out and you can see how miserably I failed. Now on to this video. So first I'm going to teach you how to make this chocolate chip cinnamon bread. I will have the recipe down below. So this original recipe was for cinnamon bread, but I decided to add the chocolate chips in because I thought it would taste better. So first you're going to make the cinnamon mixture by adding cinnamon and sugar and setting that aside. Then you're going to take the wet ingredients and mix those into another bowl and the dry ingredients into another bowl and you're going to do that separately because it will be easier to combine them. Now you can add the wet mixture to the dry mixture and mix it all up and it will become this awesome breadish looking batter. I believe that my loaf pan is 9 by 5 inches and I am just going to butter it because I want to make sure that my loaf will come out of it when I'm done. So then I'm just going to add my chocolate chips in which is about 1 to 2 cups of chocolate chips. I just used the rest of the bag that I had and then you're just going to dump it into the pan. Now the recipe says to add the cinnamon sugar in between every layer and kind of swirl it, but I actually think it'd be better just to add the cinnamon mixture into the batter before putting it in the pan. Because if you see here, I had a ton of cinnamon sugar left over, and so I tried to mix it in as best as I could, but it just was so much cinnamon on top. But I would just mix it into the batter before even putting it in the pan. So you'll want to bake this for 45 to 50 minutes, wait 10 minutes for it to cool, and then take it out of the loaf pan. And there you have amazing chocolate chip cinnamon bread. Now onto my cinnamon bun donuts. So I already taught you guys in a previous video how to make donuts from biscuits. It's super simple. You just take your biscuits, cut out the holes in the center, and use a fry cooker or some oil and fry them up. So I'm just teaching how to make the frosting here. You just mix some sugar and cinnamon in like sort of equal parts and then I'm going to add it to very thin frosting which I took the store-bought frosting and I put it in the microwave to get it super thin. Now I'm just dipping my donuts into the frosting which you can see was so much fun and sticky and gooey. But these things taste like little miniature cinnamon buns and they are so delicious and they're really pretty because they give a shiny frosting color with the little cinnamon speckles in it. You can add sprinkles but I thought it was enough sugar here. They were so Instagram worthy and so beautiful and tasted amazing. enjoyed my fall treats video 
go check out these two YouTubers right here. You can click right here and right here to go see their videos and I'm telling you, please subscribe because they are awesome people and they make awesome quality videos. See you in my next video soon. Bye!